my friend, the world is in a crazy state of flux from day to day. Every day, there's a personal story that each person is dealing with, right? And then there's the collective consciousness and the world events that we all experience and that we all have to share and we all have to front together. And, you know, with with the things that happen in the world, particularly talking about like Russia and Ukraine, you know, a lot of people have come and asked me, what are your thoughts on this? How are you doing anything for this? Like, what should we be doing? What kind of magic? What kind of, you know, prayers, Reiki? What should we do? And my opinion on what is happening in the world may not sit well with your opinion. And I respect what your opinion is and whatever way you want to take your power to solve whatever you feel you need to solve in your universe, right? But I sit down often and I meditate and I ask myself, okay, first of all, why is this happening in the world in general, okay? Well, the world's always shifting. There's always a battle for power. There, over the the last several years, we've seen um, many narratives on lies, deceptions, and authenticities that are trying to control how people perceive this universe and how people live their universe, how they express their free will and how they choose to empower themselves. We've been seeing that since 2020, that that's been a, a, a battle, right? And as we're stepping out of you know the pandemic that's taken over the world for the last like three years, we're now conveniently walking into another problem that's probably gonna be global as well if it does not get checked. And you need to think about why is it shifting from one global situation to a potential next global situation? Because there's a narrative there. You have to come to a conclusion right now and say there's a narrative, whether it's for money, whether it's for mind control, whether it's for disempowerment, or maybe, hey, it's just chaos. It's happening because people don't know how to have compassion for one another and people can't see the bigger picture than just the material universe right because if you think about it why do wars happen often wars usually happen over resources they happen uh, oftentimes over land right that's all the material universe a spiritually enlightened being an enlightened nature a nation in general wouldn't be fighting for material resources like this just to fight for them, right? And of course, war happens for a lot of different other reasons than just resources. But a lot of the concept of war itself has to do with the material universe, like some sort of real estate or possession in the material universe. When we look at the greater scope of what's happening in Russia and what's happening in, in with Ukraine, you, we have to look at the laws of manifestation. Manifestation says that people create the scenarios that they're in right and with this age of aquarius and this energy of light versus dark shadow versus you know like enlightenment what if the people that are that live in ukraine manifested their alignment with what's happening in ukraine right now right like maybe they before they and stepped into their physical body they chose that they were going to be a part of that story so that they could feel like they were making an impact on the world what if that's part of their sole purpose and you sending reiki to the situation you you know doing any form of black magic or anything could be interrupting someone else's dharma someone else's divine purpose to be here right And you have to look at the fact that if we all are based off of energy and we all manifest whatever it is that we experience, whether good or bad, these people are in alignment for some reason with that situation. They have manifested being directly in the battle zone, the confrontation of the situation. And you got to look at it beyond just, you know, good and evil, Russia, evil, Ukraine, good. Like you got to look at it beyond that. You have to look at the fact that like there are people on both sides that don't want to participate in this. So you can't say like, oh, you know, like one side is all bad because a lot of times people are being forced into something that they don't want to be a part of and they're just going along with it because, you know, they they don't don't have any other choice. Right. So we have to kind of like look at the bigger scope of things like if ultimately we want to send prayers to the greater collective consciousness and say, hey, 
we shouldn't be doing this anymore. And let's evolve and let's heal our consciousness so war doesn't become a thing anymore. Do that. But you also have to recognize that it's not your responsibility to save Ukraine or save the world from these things that are happening. Just because we're in the golden age or we're stepping deeper into the age of Aquarius doesn't mean that it's going to be rainbows and bubblegum everywhere and it's going to be easy. It will not be easy. You have to choose to look at the illusions that are being presented to you. You need to live in your truth. You need to live in a bigger cosmic truth that can't be given to you through the material universe because you can only find that truth deep inside of you and you got to do what makes you feel empowered with your soul purpose if you feel like your soul purpose right now is to get involved with that situation with the ukraine and and russia and do energy work or do whatever it is that you feel like you got to do do that i'm not saying don't do that i'm not saying that you're wrong in doing that i'm just saying it's not everyone's responsibility to do that and if you feel like you shouldn't get involved in any of it not send it energy not watch the news not freak out about it that's your right as well as a divine creator in your reality and you respond intuitively to what it is that you are supposed to be doing with your life purpose me personally with what is happening over there i'm i don't have all the facts i don't i'm not personally being a part of that myself you know i'm not in the front lines of that but i do recognize that people manifest every situation for themselves people have divine missions divine purposes that they come into and for the people who are in ukraine right now and experiencing both sides both russian and ukrainian you know influences if they're embodying their soul purpose i empower those people to succeed in what their soul purpose is and i'm rooting for for them like i would be rooting for you know a, a soccer player on a soccer field i'm rooting for you do it do it do it push harder go farther you know do what makes you feel right you can do it like i'm sending that energy out there to empower them but i'm not gonna send reiki to heal the situation because i don't think the situation needs healing and then i, I even will take it one step further where it's like there are people who know how to do healing techniques and divine warriorship which is offensive black magic or whatever it is that you know how to do dark alchemy if that's something that you know how to do protective magic divine astras and when there's war unfortunately we're living in a spiritual war as well that's that's happening right now in the middle of like all the physical chaos instead of using healing tools you should be using offensive divine warriorship tools to solve this problem if you know how to use dark alchemy and divine weapons and you're seeing what's happening across the world right now you should be using that magic to combat the enemies of light and like empowerment and peace right if that's what you feel like you should be doing and you know those techniques i personally don't think that that situation needs healing and if you're sending healing to that situation i don't think you're using your energy wisely are there people that are that, that are being traumatized and they could use the healing right like children or animals or the elderly that can't protect themselves yeah okay that's a good focus to send healing to like the victims and the people who are escaping and that are afraid and they need to cope but if you're saying okay i'm going to send reiki or i'm going to send a healing modality to heal the issue between russia and ukraine it's not about healing there there's there's not an issue that is asking for healing there's an issue of here of taking advantage of other people and oftentimes people are like oh well you can't find you can't fight fire with fire you're right but we're talking about using spiritual energy which is water which manipulates the material universe against fire which is an offensive attack on people so if you feel like you really want to make a change use your dark alchemy use your protection magic use your astras use the techniques that are meant to destroy demons to help people do shadow work to help people heal the people who are traumatized but don't heal the situation between russia and, and ukraine because that's not a healing situation and you need to be able to discern what requires healing and what requires alchemy and a lot of times when like you know i've been talking about this with my friends and a lot of my friends who are higher level feel the same exact way that i do it is not our place to get involved in that at this time for whatever reason the cosmos is telling us 
hi, like people that are hanging out with me not to get involved, not just now. We are observing, we are rooting for the people who are fulfilling their dharmas, that they're stepping up to the plate for what they signed up for in this lifetime. And we're waiting to see what happens because what you have to understand is like if you are focused on the negative, you're still helping the negative manifest. And we see that with so many different things with people. Sometimes we see people like all they focus on is, man, my day was, was horrible yesterday. It's good. It was bad today. It's going to be bad tomorrow. And what ends up happening to those people who perpetually focus their observation on the manifestation of negativity, they keep manifesting negativity. So when these things in the world happen, you can't ignore it because that's not fully helpful, but you can't give it the, the, your full undivided attention either because where your attention goes, your energy is gonna flow. Where your attention keeps observing, you're going to grow and manifest because a manifestation is an observation. And that's why when it comes to law of attraction, a lot of people struggle because they keep looking at the obstacles that are in front of them instead of the things that are opening up in front of them. So they keep manifesting more obstacles because that's all you wanna keep looking at. You gotta look at the positives, the blessings, the good, and when you keep your focus on that, you keep manifesting more of the same because that's what your objective is. So me as a divine creator, as an ascended master, as someone who does energy work every day, as a shaman, as your friend, I'm telling you that my stance right now is to observe that this is gonna blow over. That the people of Ukraine are gonna have to fight just a little bit and they're gonna win. They're gonna come out on top because they're, that's their sole purpose to do. And as I keep focusing my attention on the highest outcome possible and I keep focusing on that, I am participating in the world events. I'm saying I'm not gonna give the negative side or the side that wants to abuse more power by giving them the attention of, oh my God, look at all this stuff that they're doing. Oh my God. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna empower them. Instead, I'm gonna look and be like, you shouldn't be doing that, but you're not gonna get far anyway. Like, I know you're not gonna get far. Like, this is not gonna happen. And if you're worried and you can't sense energy right now, this is, that's what's happening right now. There's no definitive, like, we're gonna go into DEFCON mode, right, just yet. Unless you manifest it, because you right now are manifesting by talking about this, by watching this, by what you're doing with your attention and your energy, you're manifesting this right now. Are you manifesting that the people of your kin are gonna win and they're just gonna figure it out? Are you manifesting the fact that like, oh, Putin's gonna not have something work out for him so he's not gonna be able to accomplish his goals? Are you focused on that, on the positive instead of the negative? Because if it gets worse and you've been focusing on the negative, you helped create that reality that negative alternate universe. We don't need that. You don't need that. I don't need that. I don't want that. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. So why are we gonna give it the power that it doesn't deserve? If this video inspired you, if it gave you some sort of perspective, maybe you don't agree with me and that's okay. That's totally okay. Put something in the comments below. Let me know how you felt. Let me know what your thoughts are. I welcome your thoughts respectfully and I honor whatever it is that you feel like you got to do. But just remember, this is a war of consciousness. A lot of what happens in the material universe is going to be put there to make you focus on the material instead of your consciousness. Focus on your consciousness. Focus on what you're creating. Focus on the fact that every thought and everywhere you put your focus on is going to create something not just for you, but for other people as well. Are your manifestations are for the greater good for everyone? Are they for the greater good of everyone? Or are they just for you and your family and your most immediate people? Because right now what I'm doing is like, I'm manifesting not having to deal with this bullshit anymore. In the rest of my lifetime, I'm not gonna be dealing with looking at war happening consistently. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna be a part of that. I'm not going to manifest that. I'm gonna manifest something better for myself and for everybody else. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Sending you all the love.